I got so excited I broke the damn mirror in half. Every kid growing up dreams of winning the great American race. Does reality tonight match that dream? I told my wife today, I was like, she's like, if you win tonight, oh, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> <laughs> it's unreal. It's, uh, I thought if I made it without seeing my dad or my wife, I'd be okay, but it's just, uh, it's unbelievable, really. I, I can't, uh, I can't explain it. Oh, oh hi. It's just, uh, it's dream. I mean, it really is. And, you know, to, uh, <laughs> to be where I was last year, and for Johnny Morris and Chip and Felix, Bass Pro Shops, to take a chance on me and, and let me come back, it means a lot to me. And I just, uh, what a what a way to, to pay them back. And, and to give Christy a happy Valentine's Day, and my dad's here, and... It's just very emotional. But uh, after we won Talladega, we went to McDonald's. So I think tonight we'll have a Big Mac. <laughs> you go back to that final lap. So many people are jockeying around. Walk us through your moves to victory. Well, Bidville helped me out. I spun the tires on the restart. And, you know, it's just a gamble of which line's going to get the biggest run. But Greg gave me the unbelievable push on the back stretch. And then uh, when I saw the 88 behind me, I thought, oh, no. I'm like, it's, uh, you know, he's had a good car, and, and I just, you know, earn hard at Daytona. It's just, I mean, they win all the time, it seems like. So you just never know what to expect. But uh, certainly thank you to all the fans, too, that stuck around. That was that was tough having to get in and out of the car, but but they stuck with us, and it was cool to hear the applause, and they got back in the car and sprint for uh, for everything they do. I went to one of their parties the other night, and Dan Hesse is just a, a great guy, and it, it means a lot. I mean, not only sprint, but everybody that's a part of our sport with the economy the way it is we couldn't be here to put this show on without uh, with all these sponsors uh, so good stuff i want to get with my team congratulations jb mcmurray the biggest win of his racing career yeah. spencer oh my hey, goodness great job Dude, amazing move right there <laughs> You led one lap in this race. It was the only one that mattered. Ugh. Your move into one was textbook. Slowing them down and then clearing off a two. What was going through your mind, man? You made some great moves at the end of that race to put yourself in position and then block it for half a lap oh, when man. all those cars come behind you. The only thing going through my mind was I hope to hell this works. Um, gosh. <laughs> I'm so happy right now. GMS Racing brought such an incredible car here. I mean, to qualify this thing there in the race like we did all day, I knew we had the speed, but... Man, it didn't seem real for a while there. Then that whole last lap, it was kind of a dream. You hear your spotter talking to you in the background, but all you're really doing is looking out your mirror and trying to turn up into your hide, buddy. Missed you. That was a good one. Um, but man, it's it's always wild the last lap at Talladega. But we brought it home, baby. Got it done. Well, I think the coolest thing is you know you're a family-owned team. You own cars and Xfinity series and the truck series. That's that's super cool. And to have your dad here. Saw your dad was here too, and I think he's standing right over there, so that's that's really yeah, cool. Here. But uh, yeah, bring him on over yeah, here. here. We want to interview the owner and the dad and everybody. Come here. How you doing, Chris? We'll throw it over to Bubba. Thank you guys for watching. Ryan, if you may, I'd like to take a second to personally address everyone at GMS. I know y'all are watching. That was every bit as crazy as it sounds. And when I get home, we are going to party like it's 1999, y'all. We won! Yes! Back to you, Bubba. <laughs> All right. All right. I'm trying. I'm in the middle of this bear hug. Ken, car owner Rick Hendrick, driver Daryl Waltrip, wife Stevie. Oh, I won the Daytona 500. I won the Daytona 500. <laughs> Daryl, how long? Wait, wait, wait. This is the, this is the Daytona 500, isn't it? <laughs> you bet it Don't is. tell me it isn't. Thank God. How many years and how long and how hard have you tried to get right here? 17 years. 17 years this year. And, it just took a great, I mean, you saw what happened. Jeff and Stevie and Randy and Rick and everybody, they figured everything right for the fraction. I drafted, 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 and it paid off.
17 years you've been down here. Your daughter, 17 months old, on the 17th day of February. All your car number. I understand three times on the two-way radio, the word came across that you were out of gas. I said, it's gone. It's out. It won't go no further than it. Pick up and go again. But you tell me. I had a lot of drivers say all them numbers didn't mean nothing. You tell me, do they mean anything? <laughs> I guess they do. Daryl, congratulations. Well, thank Todd, Exxon, and AC Spark Plugs. And Linda, Back up to Ken high. Squire. Everybody at home. Love all of you. Daryl Waltrip becomes the 19th different winner of the Great American Race. Matt Benedetto brings it home six today. Matt, obviously a huge finish for this small team. Your thoughts? <laughs> I'm, just, I'm sorry, I'm so speechless. Just, I'm so thankful to everybody on this team, everybody at BK Racing, Cosmo Motors in Hickory in North Carolina. They're local to me. He's my best friend. Sell some awesome cars. Please check them out. Um, everyone at BK Racing, Dustless Blasting. I'm, these guys, man, that's unbelievable for you know, a team like us to be growing this much and for us to get a sixth place run. I'm sorry, I'm so emotional. It's just, this is like a win for us, and I am so excited. I see my family back here, my wife, Taylor, just my brother is in town from the military, uh, and I'm so glad he got to experience this. This is just, this is incredible. This is so, I'm so blessed to be here. Big finish for BK Racing. Well, and as you can imagine, a lot of people want to talk to Rich Bickle, and I'm sure you're happy to talk. Congratulations on a great day. Obviously an emotional day, as well as the heat. He's all right. <laughs> He's all right. Hang in there, buddy. Great job, man. Everybody, to help me get here. <laughs> I can't help it. That's okay. We're not stopping you. <laughs> Enjoy them. So much emotion. This is winning for me. <laughs> Thanks. We are now joined by the runner-up for today's 60th annual Daytona 500 whoop here whoop. at Daytona International Speedway. And it's none other than Daryl Wallace Jr., driver of the number 43 click-and-close Chevrolet for Richard Petty Motorsports. Not only was Daryl the highest-finishing Sunoco rookie in the race today, but he's also the highest-finishing African-American driver in the great American race. A second place finish. Besting the previous mark set by NASCAR Hall of Famer Wendell Scott in 1966. Bubba, that was a, a wild race out there. Wild finish. Walk through this final laps for Stay us. Daytona. Jesus Christ. Like we just won the race. Hey, we did. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> we did. <laughs> we, we did win that mm -hmm. race, baby. We did. We did. I love you. Thank I'm so you. proud of you. Thank you. Love you. <laughs> God dang it, Mom. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, Mom. Come on now. <sighs> I'm going to talk like this. <laughs> All right, what were you saying? I'm sorry. I was going to say walk through the final laps, but forget the final laps. Walk through just the emotion of this moment for you right now. <laughs> oh. It's, it's, it's a sensitive subject, but I'm just so emotional over where my family has been the last two years that I don't talk about it, but it's just so hard. And so having them here to support me is... Pull it together, bud. Pull it together. You just finished second. It's awesome. I just try so hard to be successful at everything I do, and my family pushes me. 
each and every day, and they might not even know it, but I just want to make them proud. And second is horrible, but it's still a good day. Um, but yeah, I just, I just love my family and having everybody here from my mom, my sister, my uncle, everybody here just, just means a lot. Next question. Get me off this subject. <laughs>